All right, guys, today I wanted to go over my top five illegal knives. Now, I've done a video similar to this before, but I thought it'd be fun to revisit it because there's some new additions to it and talk about some really cool knives that may be illegal for you. Hopefully they aren't. But also, too, I really like talking about knives that are automatic, switchblades, gravity knives, OTFs, those kinds of things, because it's worth talking about. It's worth getting some press out there on them and really explaining to you guys, I mean, are these knives? dangerous. Um, I would say more to the user than to, you know, the potential target or victim. Um, but ultimately, there are some really cool knives that have some perks to them and are very unique in their own right. So first up, we're going to talk about the auto access lock. So this is a Benchmade and Benchmade features every so often an automatic knife that uses their access lock. This is pretty cool. And I will say to the credit of Benchmade, these are some of the hardest firing autos that I have ever felt like this Adamus hopefully you guys can kind of see here like um, the actual shock that comes out of this knife pretty darn crazy and that's honestly because they are making a pretty big piece of steel fly out of its handle at a pretty good speed so this thing is by no means a joke and is really cool however unfortunately for a lot of people once again because this is a switchblade legally defined um, it is not necessarily the most legal knife for some of my viewers however if you do get the chance to buy one these auto adamuses like i said are some of the hardest firing autos that i've ever felt in they have jumped out of multiple of my friend's hands because they were not anticipating it and that scared them. So they're pretty cool knives. And once again, honestly, I think with like a lot of these illegal knives that are quote unquote dangerous, you know, like they're more dangerous for the user than they actually are the potential victim, right? Like, I mean, every knife is going to do damage. So these knives aren't necessarily unique in the fact that they'll cut someone because all knives that are sharp will cut someone. It's just honestly, these things pose more danger for the user than they do the uh, person that the user's trying to use them on, potentially in a hypothetical situation. Anyways, back on track, this is a button lock true like switch blade i guess what you would think because this is this button here is a switch that makes the blade pop out so this is by definition a switch blade and this one is a side um, or button lock auto so this is a protect strider smg and this is an auto smg so this f uh, fills the same lines as the strider smg just it's an automatic blade and of course this one is made by protect now this one is not as hard fire as the previous one but still plenty good enough like it will certainly fly out of the handle and be right there when you need it i really love talking about the auto smg because this is one of my favorite knives in the collection i guess i do have a rather long list but i genuinely love the strider smg like shape ergonomics design and so the fact that it is made in an automatic form for me it's just like the perfect uh kind of knife for just a fun edc blade now unfortunately like i said it is classified as a switch blade so it may be illegal for some people uh depending on your jurisdiction your state your country but if you can get one 100 recommended all right, let's talk about one that I do feature a fair bit, but still love talking about, and that is the um, Heretic Knives Manticore X. This is the big boy version of it. This is like basically the equivalent to the Combat Trudon from Microtech, but this guy is cool. Of course, this is the Bounty Hunter edition, so it has the fat carbon fiber or fat camo carbon fiber on this side, and then of course has the very nice um, Mandalorian logo and Boba Fett theme throughout the blade. However, what I do love about this knife as a whole, I mean, I like the, you know, design aesthetics of it, of course, but it does have a very large firing button and it fires nice and hard. This is one of my favorites just because of how hard firing it is. And I also love how like tight, um, I guess you could say the tolerances are. So hopefully you guys can see here, like one thing people never talk about on these manticores is I'm trying to show you guys right here. Hopefully you can see it, but the blade tip is like just under the handle. Like if you run your finger over it, it won't cut you, but you can physically feel the tip of the blade 
just lurking under the surface. So hopefully that comes up. I cannot see on the camera viewfinder whether you guys were able to see that, but it's one of my favorite features on the Manticore because most of your OTFs, like let's just say this um, Microtech Ultratech, you might be able to see the blade tip in there, but it's pretty, pretty buried. Like you cannot feel that. It's not close to the end of the handle at all. So I really love how close that blade tip is. Very, very cool. All right, now we're gonna talk about the Paragon Phoenix. Now the Phoenix is a basically what I would consider a baby balisong because it is technically like very similar to a balisong. It has two handles and those handles close around a blade that you have to use gravity to open and or close. So it's very in like definition, very close to a balisong, but this is what I'd consider like a baby balisong because you do have two different handles that do open or separate to expose the blade. But at the same time too, because these uh, handles are next to each other, as uh, opposed to them being opposing, you basically just get a knife that is pretty darn safe to open and close without really having to worry about being like having a hot or a bite handle and a safe handle. So this thing is, you know, basically a baby uh, balisong. It has a lot of the kind of fidgetability of it, though you can't obviously do like tricks. You can't like roll it around and do fun stuff. It's less visually appealing, but tactile speaking or like tactile tactilely speaking, it's very fun to fidget with, open, close, and, you know, just play around with. Even fun to just experiment, like, dropping the knife in, already having an ice pick grip. Kind of cool. It's a cool blade. Uh, mine, in particular, has the sharpened up, uh, upper edge and with serrations and then just a normal sharpened bit there. So, one's a little bit more spicy, so to speak, but definitely, definitely an illegal knife. I should also say the OTF is also definitely considered an automatic, so it is also illegal. All right, now let's actually talk about a real um, balisong. So this one here is the Mantis Knives Fly Switch, and this one has a deeply recurved blade. This one's really cool. I am very much a fan of it. And uh, once again, it is a balisong in proper kind of terms. So once again, the Phoenix, you know, kind of is, it's a gravity knife, technically speaking, but you know, kind of like a baby version of a balisong, whereas this guy is the real deal. You do have a proper, you know, opposed handles that open to reveal a blade. Now I will say what's really cool about the Mantis in particular is it does have a kind of quick exchange um, blade feature. So if you do, um, they, they sell like multiple different blades, trainer blades. So it is kind of cool that you can like pop this handle off or I should say pop both handles off and, you know, put on a new blade and then just lock it back into place. And then you get a balisong with a different blade shape or maybe the dull trainer blade on there as well. So pretty cool. But once again, because it's a balisong, it's definitely illegal. Um, this one's probably the most dangerous of all for the user. If you don't know how to open and or close uh, a balisong, you will likely bite yourself very quickly. But uh, yeah, so that is the... Uh, battle song. Anyways, guys, hopefully enjoyed going over some illegal knives. It is unfortunate, in my opinion, that knives are banned. And I hope this video kind of serves to show you guys, like I said, like why I like to do these videos is to show like, honestly, none of these knives are particularly any more or less dangerous than like, let's just say, this is like a typical run of the mill. Um, this one's an Ontario Rat Model 1. This is of course the, the Red Rat, but um, you know, this knife is like a basic, just general knife, right? This is what you'd think of with a knife it has a nice little liner lock. You know, this is just a general purpose knife. This thing isn't fancy, but to be honest, the blade shape of this and the blade shape of this auto Adamus are similar, you know, uh, enough. And it's like, you're not gonna do any more or less damage with a particular knife deployment method. It's really, it goes back to more of, you know, what are your intentions with the knife? And honestly, you know, like, trying to, I would say like from a legal standpoint, going after people who have bad intentions or bad actions with knives, not necessarily going after the knife itself, because as you guys can clearly see, you know, this Balisong isn't any more dangerous than any of the other knives I've shown here. And in fact, the only one that it's technically more dangerous for is the actual operator. And so whoever's using this is honestly the one more likely to get hurt by having a gravity knife than the actual 
potential victims. So I think uh, knife laws as a whole are extremely misguided. And that's why, like I said, I like to make videos going over illegal knives because I'm lucky enough to live in a state where all of these knives are legal for me to carry, legal for me to own. But uh, for me, like I said, I just look at it and I'm like, honestly, no, no one of these knives is more dangerous than another. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video and the little tirade or soapbox. I will get off my soapbox now. But as always, guys, God bless and I'm out.